Hello, Tim Wilmot here, and this is a compilation of attendee paintings from my September online workshop. So every month, well, nearly every month, watercolour enthusiasts from all over the world join me for a couple of hours paint along experience where I do a step-by-step -step demo and answer your questions through the event. So last month we painted this scene in Staithes, North Yorkshire, a very pretty coastal town, beautiful river, Beck, going out into the, the North Sea, and a contre jour scene, but this time we're practicing reflections, the riverbank, buildings, a little bit of perspective. We've got the scrubby foliage to deal with, rock, rocky the te rocky texture of the foreground there, and these soft reflections in the river as well. So you didn't have to, or you don't have to paint in my style on my workshops. And it's really interesting to see everyone's interpretation of the same scene. Now these workshops that I run regularly are open to painters of all levels, beginners and advanced alike. You're all welcome. So I'm now going to go through and show you the attendee paintings one by one and give a short critique on each one. And please, this is just my own opinion. Um, of course, with art, one person may really like a painting, another person may hate it, but that's, that's art for you. And if you want to take part in a future event, the next one is coming up. So this is the September event. Next one will obviously be October. You can see all my events listed at crowdcast.io slash Tim Wilmot. And crowdcast is spelled C-R-O-W-D-C-A-S-T dot I-O slash Tim Wilmot. And there you'll see this workshop, which you can still do, actually. And as with previous ones, um, uh, you can take part and uh, still get a critique from me. And the next one will be on October the 31st, which is going to be a street scene in Bath, UK, so totally different to this. Anyway, so that was, this is the source photograph, um, one of my own photos, and a few little practice photos. So one I did um, quite some time ago, actually, uh, but you'll see here slightly different um, style, if you like, um, probably getting a little bit looser. This is the one I did on the day. Um, so let me just go back. That one. So that was a practice one I did um, a few weeks ago. So trying to get the, the light hitting the rooftops is the main thing. And then the soft reflections in the river. Probably did a little bit more with the reflections on this one. Um, because with talking through the event, uh, timing is of the essence. So I got, I got a little bit of soft reflections there. But in other places it's gone... I got some hard edges there, which wasn't ideal, but uh, I, I think that the main points of the, the, the demonstration got through to to get that sort of using wet and wet, a little bit of soft uh, reflection, soft edges. And then a, a few little boats on the far shore a figure as well um, over there catching the light. But the other the other main design element is the are the that is the light hitting these um, rooftops here. And shadows, lots of different, trying to get in different colors in those shadows, a little bit blue over there. Um, and then on the, in the bottom right corner here, a few rocks, boulders, and some shrubs. So let's see all these paintings. In alphabetical order then, here is Agnes. Agnes's painting and quite a nice style to this one. I, I like uh, actually sometimes I think leaving the little bits of the paper unpainted um, can be overdone, but actually it's, it's got a nice sort of sparkle and freshness about this one, which I quite like. Uh, you certainly capture the light, Agnes. Uh, I like the, the blue there on the right hand side. Good range of values. You've got the the light value of the, the uh, distant hills. Um, certainly got the reflections, done the reflections very well, like the boats also. Yeah, very, very nice. Um, maybe a little bit lost with the, maybe we don't have such a sort of feeling of the rocks in the bottom right corner, but 
everything else superb. Well done, Agnes. And Alberto. So uh, let me just think. I like the boats. Um, very good boats. I think it's a little bit overworked over here on the right hand side, Alberto, but the houses are very well um, drawn and, and painted and executed. Um, certainly got a feeling of the light hitting those rooftops as well. Um, reflections. Yeah, I think with the reflections and the the, the buildings and the shadow, just a tiny bit over, overworked. So just watch with the thickness of your paint and trying to trying to keep things fresh with watercolour, trying to do things um, in one go. I like the reflections in the river, though. You've got that superbly well. And uh, over the right-hand side, yeah, good foliage and rocks. Well done, Alberto. Alison C. I think there might be a few Alisons. So, uh, yeah, you've got the values right. Um, maybe with the sky, I'd have gone with a, a flatter wash there, Alison, rather than leaving little, little white bits there in the sky. But you've got the value right. Um, I like this in the middle, a bit of granulation, this area here, that's very nice, um, boats superbly painted, figured just the right size, and nice reflections, yeah, well done, uh, just my point about maybe uh, just lose some of those little white bits in the sky, although I suppose you could argue that they're a little sort of little sort of uh, tiny clouds drifting across the scene. Um, Anna B. So this is quite a soft looking uh, uh, painting. You've got in quite a few figures. You've got in two figures more than me. Uh, almost looks like there's another little figure over there in the far on the far distant um, shoreline. Uh, the houses are well drawn. Not so sure about the rooftops here. Um, not sure, so sure about that triangular one there, but you've got the feeling of the houses really well. Um, boats, very well painted. I like the color on the, the shore and you've done a sort of graded wash there, light through the dark. Great reflections. You've certainly got the wet in wet there, Anna. Um, yeah, really good. And also I quite like the way that you've done those rocks there. They look really nice and a nice bit of um, negative painting around that um, middle shrub to give that sort of serrated edge. That's very effective. Yeah, well done, Anna. Thank you very much. Uh, Anna W. Right. Uh, let me see. Um, so we've got quite a nice sky. I like the way that you've done the sky. Um, Good transition into the buildings, good soft edge around the rooftops. Uh, perhaps the perspective is a little bit off with that middle building there, Anna. Um, but you got you got some good colours. I like that that bush on the right hand side. Um, maybe with these rocks, with the with these marks like that, it makes it look like the river is somehow a little bit higher than the right hand side. Perhaps if those Perhaps if those lines went up, that might just give the feeling that here is higher than here. All right. Um, good reflections, though. Uh, you've, you've got in the figure as well in the distance, just the right proportion. Lovely little highlight of the wall going down the, um, the retaining wall down to the, uh, the right hand side. Yep. Lovely. Well done, Anna. And Audrey. Quite soft. Uh, I like the way that you've lifted off the paint in the shadows of the houses there. That's very effective. Um, also, look at that nice edge on the uh, the the background hills there. It's quite nice, and the transition into the the connection in with the buildings. Yep, just right. Uh, 
Yeah, it's actually very nice. Um, maybe that figure could be a little bit stronger. We're kind of losing that figure, just a, maybe a tiny bit, bit too small. Um, is there a little smudged mark there maybe? Uh, but the reflections are good and a combination of hard and soft edges. Yep, lovely one. Well done, Audrey. And Bahir, hopefully I pronounce, pronounce your name okay. Bah, Bahiri, Bahir. Uh, thanks very much for sending me a painting. Uh, so good, strong values. Look at the dark shadows in the distance. Typical sort of... Uh, um, <laughs> that sort of sky that we get in the UK, um, just the right colour. Uh, maybe a little bit off with some of the perspective on those those two right-hand buildings there. Um, good reflections. You've made the river quite wide, um, which sort of works. You then have to sort of squash that, those rocks down to the bottom right-hand corner, but that's all right. Um, a nice bit of light there hitting the uh, far, the far bend of the river. Yeah, well done, Bahiri, Bahir. And Barb. Uh, I like this, uh, Barb, this, um, the way that you've done that shrub, this push on the right hand side, and those little sort of marks that you've been able to achieve that's really quite striking, very loose, very, very fresh, lovely. And the rocks as well. Um, now, Possibly a little bit overworked in the middle ground, those, those hills there. Uh, that figure maybe could be a little bit darker or give them, give the figure maybe a dark top or a dark bottom just so that it's not so, um, it doesn't stand out so much, shall I say. But everything else, really nice. Yep, the rooftops look okay. Good handling of perspective, uh, good boats, and nice reflections. Well done, Bob. Yeah, particularly like that, those bushes. Well done. Uh, Betty F. Right. Uh, nice, colourful scene. You've got in some brickwork on the on the um, the far walls there, which, yeah, it's all right. And these boats as well. Very nice indeed. Um Got the valleys just right. Nice sort of soft valley of those hills in the background. Uh, maybe a little bit overworked with the, the rock work down the bottom right-hand corner here, better. But I like the the way that you've done the bushes here on the right-hand side. Very loose, very fresh. Maybe get um, I would think maybe get a brush with a sharp edge so that you get some straighter edges. I would say try and go for some. Go for, go for some more straighter edges, Betty, on that one. Uh, right, Beverly M. Well, very uh, bold, uh, nice range of values. Uh, I like the sky, very nice sky. Um, the river and reflections, very good as well. Uh, maybe we don't need this not sure about this line here that goes down like that. I think if that was just glazed over, um, that would look so there's, there's like a smooth transition from these buildings into those buildings. That would look um, that would look nicer. But everything else very precisely drawn and painted. Nothing overworked. Yeah, very nice. Well done, Beverly. Uh, Bogdan. Right, with quite a distinctive style with this. Very bright with the green there. Um, now those greens, maybe the green in in the background there could be maybe a little bit bluer, a little bit lighter, because the danger with a bright green like that is going to bring everything too far forwards. Um, and likewise with these bright reds as well. Just be careful with making it too bright to to bring it forward. But I like I like the figures that you've got in. The, into the scene and these two guys down here looking after their boat. Um, yeah, well done, Bogdan, lovely. And Bronwyn, now you've sort of got a slightly different um, aspect to the far shoreline. Yours is a little bit more horizontal. Um, well, there's, there's nothing to, maybe the locals would, would would be offended, but there's nothing to stop you changing changing the composition 
And this works really well. Um, yeah, I, I like the way that it's sort of stretched out that way and made more horizontal, uh, which works well with a, a landscape orientation. Perhaps these houses on the right-hand side just a little bit too small if, in relation to the size of the figure, but well-drawn boats and nice reflections and also some nice little horizontal marks that you've got going across there, Bronwyn. Yep, lovely. And just the right value of those background hills as well. Yeah, great colours. Uh, thanks, Bronwyn. Calvin. And Calvin's trademark lady posing on the bank there. Beautifully painted. And she's admiring the scene. She's looking up the river. Um, yeah, very well. Nice composition. Very sort of bold geometric shapes that Calvin paints with. Nice handling of watercolour. Nothing overworked. Good range of textures as well with the uh, shoreline. Uh, maybe in my in my my view, um, maybe the windows are just a little bit too bold. If they were dulled down a bit or maybe not paint them all in, you know, those nine windows there, just leave a few of them out. Um, yeah, but other than that, lovely and beautiful uh, um, figure there posing and looking up the river and some nice texture in the bottom right hand corner as well well done Calvin Carol nice and bright I like the the color that you've got on that far shoreline and the the effect of the rocks as well that's very nice um, sky good background hills just the right value very well drawn and painted buildings yeah uh, perhaps you could have been a little bit bolder with the rocks and also maybe get in a few little a few little sort of horizontal ripples in in the river there just to make it sort of it looks a little bit too perfect if you like with that that edge there it's a beautiful edge and the, these rocks that you've got in as well but maybe just rough it up a little bit um but lovely well done um thanks very much carol and Ch chandra nice and loose don't think there's anything overworked here uh, i like the way that you've normally i would say it'd be nice to have some hard straight edges on those buildings but it actually works quite well with the with the style that you've done with those buildings uh, and i don't actually mind the the uh, pencil mark showing through as well. I think that's very effective. So quite light um, in your in your palette. Uh, yeah, very nice. Um, perhaps some of these rooftops just a little bit too pink. And Charlene. So yeah, I think the bu buildings are a lot um, larger in this composition. Which, which works well. You've, you've changed it a little bit. Um, move that bush further up the river. So you've made more of a feature of the houses. I think that works quite well. Uh, just be careful of a little bit of overworking on some of the buildings there. I think the background hills, very, very nice. Just the right. Your greens are very good. Um, nice figures also, particularly like that left-hand figure. Good sense of movement. Um, this Figure here, yeah, that figure's all right. I just may, maybe think the the head looks a little bit too separate from the body. Looks um, uh, looks like it's been working out a bit too much. Uh, but th I like the boats, uh, very nice. Especially like that middle boat. That's superb. Uh, got the reflections in. Maybe if the horizon was a little bit higher, we could see a bit more of the reflections. But this is a very nice composition indeed. And, and I like the way that you've made more of a feature of the, of, of the buildings. Uh, and that background, the, the greens are very good. The, the background, um, the, this bush on the right-hand side there. Very nice, Charlene. Well done. Uh, Ching. Yeah, uh, very nice uh, buildings in the middle there. I like the, the softness of that middle building. Perhaps the perspective is a little bit off with these two right-hand ones, Ching. Um, 
Now the boats are good. Maybe this one on the left hand side here, just a little bit too tall uh, a boat. Um, the other boats look good to me. Nice figure, good reflections. The over on the right hand side, you've got nice greens, good sort of sense of movement in the river as well, and those bold uh, boulders in the bottom right corner. Yep, very nice. Thank you, Ching. Uh, Cliff. So good sense of, there's a good feeling of light coming into your painting, Cliff, with, particularly with the rooftops there. Now, perhaps the perspective is not quite right and the rooftops maybe could have a little bit of a point on the apex uh, just to uh, make them look a little bit more realistic, but good range of colours, um, good values as well. I like the sky, whether you've done the sky. The river could have some darker reflections in there just to represent the buildings above. Uh, good placement of figure and boat. Uh, just watch the overworking of the right hand boulders down the bottom right hand corner there cliff but nice nice painting and i do like that light hitting those rooftops well done a uh, d john lot well like the previous one a great sense of light hitting the middle rooftops absolutely fantastic and also it's sort of that light comes down into the slipway leading down to the beach those boats are superb, very loose painting. Look at the way that uh, John has done the right-hand side here, that, that this, this tree, this dark tree, it just needed that over on the right-hand side. Yes, so there's a, such a wide range of watercolor techniques being used here. That lovely soft background, look at the splattering and the looseness and the lifting out of the shadows in the in the middle there uh yep yeah, fantastic very nice painting well done john or d john and dan dan f well what a colorful scene look at that yellow sky superb i like that a lot uh, very contemporary good figures you've got in how many figures can i see one two three four Five, six, so you get the prize so far for the most figures. Uh, uh, different style to me. Maybe your, your, your paint's a little bit thicker than I would use in places, but I like the style. It's got a good feeling about it and, and a good range of colours. You've gone for the yellow rooftops and not, not my sort of pinkish uh, pinkish colour. So that works, that works really well. It sort of mimics the sky. Uh, perhaps you could argue maybe the river could, could be a little bit more yellow rather than blue. But, you know, it, this is art. It works really well. I think that's fantastic, Dan. Well done. Dave P. Very loose. E economy of brush marks. Nothing overworked here at all, Dave. This is excellent. I like the sky. Uh, the granulation that you've got um, in this area here is superb. And the little bit of painting around that shrub, fantastic. Yeah, very, very nice. Uh, have you got a figure? Maybe that's a figure. Uh, watch, I would say watch some of these too many little marks here just um in my mind just just overdone it on some of these these sort of lighter bits in the shadows and that sort of triangular bit there very nice though dave very very good painting nothing overworked yep super watercolor well done and david c now, the sky's good. Uh, the background hills, just watch them being a little bit too green. 
as I've said before, it sometimes can bring the background just a little bit too far forwards for us. We want to want to try and push it back. Uh, building's good. Uh, watch the perspective with these buildings. Uh, maybe that building there could have a sort of straighter rooftop. Um, yeah, everything else. Boats, boats are good. Uh, you've changed the sort of direction of that boat there which actually works quite well probably you know it would it would sort of go up that way if you're just coming off the shore and moving up onto the uh, onto the shoreline uh be careful with a little bit too much white paint there and a bit of overworking on the right hand side nice figure like the figure um just consider uh david just a little bit of white paint on top of that figure might just make it pop a little bit more and a uh, bit of a bit of a highlight on that uh, on that head thanks very much david uh, doris well we have a couple here walking down to the shoreline nice soft painting good sense of light hitting the left hand buildings i like the way that the the middle buildings there they really look as if they're in the distance um, quite some way because of the the lighter value and the soft edges that you've got around that uh well done doris uh, perhaps the boats could have just a little bit more of a, a sort of structure of maybe a few little seats um if you see what i mean some sort of planks going across that will work better that boat's all right though and nice reflections in the river very soft reflections uh watch just watch in place just a little bit of overworking um, just so that you, you don't want to lose that freshness. Uh, well done, Doris. So, so we've got Doris J and this one is Doris Y. Now, Doris, Doris Y, Doris number two, you've gone a different orientation, um, which I think... I, I said during the demonstration, um, I pointed out the, the actual source photo and I thought, well, with the direction of the river, this, this scene would lend itself to a portrait orientation rather than a landscape. I actually demonstrated a landscape as you've seen with the, initial, the, the paintings I did, um, but nothing's stopping you going for a portrait orientation. So you're making more of a feature of the river and the foreground um, shore uh, so excellent composition maybe with the range of colors we're a little bit too sort of grayish or bluish it, it could have been maybe just inject a bit more color into the scene i would have thought Doris. but this is an excellent composition very well thought out and well done for choosing a slightly different orientation yeah well done and Elsa N. Good composition. I like the, the way that you've got a little bit of a curve. That Just that mark there, that curve, just sort of mimics the, the curve of the river. And I think it's a nice sort of design element, that. Perhaps just a few too many of these little unpainted bits in the building, particularly on the... Uh, in the shadow but you've got great great color i like the sky fantastic sky background hills um these rocks uh look at that blue and the and the gray and a little bit of green coming down onto the rocks yeah you've got lots of lot you've sneaked in lots of colors into this i like the whereas i was pointing out that the bits i'm painted on the shadows on the on the on the uh, buildings uh, I actually like these little bits here. I mean, I don't know what they are. They could be boulders in the middle of the river. Maybe some birds that are just swooping down and catching something off the surface of the water. These reflections that you've got are superb. Well done. Yeah, very nice. Well done, Elsa. Nice and fresh. Well done. And really loose on that right-hand side. That, that, that very confident brush mark there brilliant well done engin 
again, very loose. I, I, my eyes are suddenly drawn to that color, that, that beautiful color that you've got in there. Very loose, and it, and it sort of, then that bright color goes up the right-hand side. I know on a few occasions you've sneaked in those birds. That makes a difference um, up there. Just a just a right sort of balance between things going on here, things going on here, and then those birds up there. Sort of nice sort of triangle there. Uh, very loose though. Uh, fantastic brush marks. I like the right hand side. A bit like. D. John, you know, you're very, very loose on that right hand side, very distinctive. Uh, beautiful, yeah, very nice, great colors. Uh, well done, Engin. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, Esther, right, so there's quite a lot of, sort of vertical marks gone here, which works very well. It, my eyes noticed, um, and I, 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 I could argue maybe slightly overworked here on the right hand side but but from a design element you know these these vertical marks that that are repeated through the scene with the posts these poles here the way that you've done the buildings there's nice sort of repetition there uh, which which um, actually works really well uh, yep our boat's good Reflections, I just watched a little bit of overworking on that reflection there, maybe just a bit too dark. But good handling of perspective and nice brush marks. Well done, Esther. Uh, Fiona, oh, another horizontal, more of a horizontal scene, almost looking like a, like a beach. Um, fantastic colour and texture that you got into this. So you've got quite a sort of um, distinctive style. I would have thought with a, with a drier mix, not so wet on the brush. I like that sky, that cloud that you've got in the middle there and the edge around that cloud as well. Very good, Fiona. Great figures. Um, well, there's a, there's a little dog there, two figures, a bit of movement and this figure bending attending to something on the boat, and an upturned boat as well. I don't think anybody else has done an upturned boat, but you've got that on the right-hand side, which it needed something over there on the left, just to balance things that were happening in the middle and over on the right. Uh, perhaps we could have gone a little bit darker with the reflections in there, but nice texture to the river. Uh, that... The green on the background is just a little bit too, too much of the Viridian, I think. It's a bit too sort of cool. Um, if it was made, um, if, it was a, if, it had, if it was a lighter value, I think that would, be, that would look better, Fiona. But very nice painting, very nice composition, well done. Gary, well, a lot of impact with this one, that sky, my, my my the, the way that you've got these dramatic shapes of the rooftop, particularly that one there. Well, this one here, very loose. That one there, sort of sloping down, meeting those two distant cottages on the right. That sky as well. That just, um, I guess you've gone in sort of fairly wet here and then just dropped in with a slope on the board, just drop in a little bit of darker blue. And let watercolour do its thing. Very good reflections, great boats as well. Uh, yep, nice one, Gary. Well done. Jerry, Jerry with a G. Nice composition. A bit like, a bit like Gary's. You've got a, a nice sort of sloping down to those uh, cottages there. Just the right range of values. Nice and light in the background. Good rocks, good foliage as well on the right hand side boats are well painted yeah very nice perhaps we could have a little bit of light um at the end of the at the bend of the river just to just to sort of show it sort of going around the uh the left hand side there just going around the, the back of those buildings uh very nice well done jerry 
Gwen, very bold with the range of values. Uh, so you've made more of a feature of those cottages on the right hand side. And that works. Uh, nice sort of light value, distant hills, great sky. The, the, the values of the sky, almost similar to the value of the of the rooftops, but with the shadow of the of the uh, left hand side and the shadow of the, of the building, it actually just says, you know, that is a roof and with that little chimney there and the shadow going down. Yep, excellent. Good figures, good boats. Maybe those boats could be a little bit more into the right. Just be careful with things being a little bit too over the left. Very nice watercolour, nothing overworked, Gwen. Fantastic. Well done, a good sense of light hitting those rooftops as well. Heather. Oh, we can see good quality watercolour paper here, Heather. Well done. Um, and uh, a good high resolution photo to show off the, uh, the paper that you're using. Uh, the buildings, well, well drawn, uh, well, the perspective is brilliant. Uh, good range of values as well. Um, I'd, I'd make those figures just a little bit lighter. And this boat here maybe needs a little bit of seating or something like that in it just to make it a little bit more realistic. Like the reflections. Good work on the right hand side as well with the, the green and the and the rocks. And the river as well, you, you've actually got a, a good sense of movement of the river. And yeah, those reflections are brilliant. Yeah, a nice light value of that middle building that a few other people have done as well. Works, works well. Well done, Heather. Thank you very much indeed. And Helen, right, a little bit of a small photo of this, but we can see what's going on. Now that boat is maybe just sloping a little bit downhill at like a 45 degree angle. If it was more horizontal, that would work better, Helen. But everything else really good, nice sense of light. Uh, you haven't gone too dark in any area. Uh, I don't know whether that was your intention. So it's quite, quite light, but then you still got the sense of light hitting these rooftops, just the right value for the background hills. Um, maybe watch some of these poles, the reflections. If that pole was going at that angle, then the reflection may be going like that. So that, that one there would be like that, if you see what I mean. Uh, right, well done, Helen, thanks very much. Ian, so you've got a distinctive style to this. I wouldn't personally have these black lines around the edges of the roof. Uh, I would just be, that, that black line there, for example, it doesn't really need it. If, if, the, if, that, if those hills went up to that edge, so all of this was green, that would work a little bit better, all right? Um, perspective is there, uh, figures. Now, what, with the figures, watch the white, little bit of sort of white halo effect around the figures. Um, you've gone for that horizontal, that popular horizontal beach again. Yes, yeah, so I, I think the main thing here is just watch the where you've got the lighter area around the main objects, the light, a light around that building there, the light around the figures. Just try and connect things a little bit more, Ian. But lovely painting and good job on the greens as well. I like, I like the colour that you've got on those background hills. That's superb. Um, yeah, very, very good. Well done. Thanks, Ian. And Ina. So I, f I feel a sort of glow, a sort of uh, almost like a, a twilight um, scene here. Um, very soft, very few hard edges. I think that that's your style. Uh, I, I guess the danger is that you might end up being a just 
feeling of a little bit overworked, but it's got a nice sort of twilight feel about it. Uh, boat's well drawn. Um, watch the figures. The heads might be just a little bit too big or the, the top the top of the figures might be just a little bit too big in relation to the bottom of the, the bottom half. So just watch with watch the proportions of your figures. Nice reflections, good boulders as well. Um, on the right hand side, the left hand side. Yep, well done, Ina. Thank you. And Isabel. I love these this sort of foliage on the right hand side. That's very, very nice more like a sort of grassy whereas we were going for a lot of us were going for more of a sort of shrub or a big bush but you've gone for which i guess you might find next to a river um these these sort of reeds or bulrushes or that the tall grass yeah very nice uh very well drawn good handling of perspective a good good quality boats as well nice bit of a curve to them um Maybe watch the bow of that one there. That, the, the bow of that one looks a little bit odd, Isabel, but all the other boats are good. Are good, And nice reflections also, very good. And a sense of movement in, in the river with uh, some of these little horizontal ripples and waves. Yeah, very nice, well done. Particularly like those, those grasses, fantastic. James D. Soft, nothing too harsh, good, good, good range of figures as well. Um, no, we got with the perspective, just trying to think. So these buildings, yeah, I think the perspective is nearly there. Um, I think I think that's that's just right. Maybe these rooftops could be a little bit lighter, just to get the feeling of um, a bit more light coming into the scene. Uh, the reflections are good, though. Um, they certainly match what's happening um, with above, what uh, what they're reflecting. Um, perhaps we could go a little bit darker on the background shoreline just to make the river stand out a bit more as a as a lighter value so trying to keep the river light and then the, the background hills a little bit darker great sky nice handling of the sky yep well done james thank you very much indeed and jane d nice and loose on the right hand side look at that very bold with those dry brush marks and the way that you've lifted off that right hand side there, we can see um, evidence of, uh, of your brush there for, for scale and um, looks like a Da Vinci Petit Gris, um, pure mop brush, good quality brush, nice range of values on, very dark on those, uh, uh, the shadow of the, the buildings. Um, you've gone for bigger boats and maybe a mast in those boats as well. So but that's all right. Um, that works. Uh, good sky, good values in the background. Yeah, I particularly like though, these, these bushes. I think uh, that's a, a lot of other people have um, done, done really well with their, their bushes on the right-hand side. You've, yours, uh, yours are very nice and nice sort of green as well. And and the effects that you've got around the edges. Good figures as well. Good sense of movement with those figures. Well done, Jane. John D. Very colourful. Um, we've got a feeling of the, the foliage on the right-hand side. Uh, nice sort of golden, almost like an autumnal view to this one, an autumnal feel to this one. I think those buildings there are just here john are just a little bit too small i think if they're a bit bigger that would work better they could look a little bit too small for the the figures and just be careful with the white paint not sort of overdoing it too much so uh, try a few paintings without that white paint but nice style about it um is that a figure there maybe that figure it might be just a little bit too big compared to these figures 
I like those middle ones coming down the scene, the way that you've... I remarked about the white paint, but the white paint works on those figures. I can just sense a little bit of highlight on the on the heads and shoulders. Yep, very nice. Uh, I, I like the those the building in the top left hand corner. Very well done. Well done, uh, John. Thank you. And John S. Right. Good sky. Like the sky. Like the background hills. The river coming around, um, almost horizontal with the with the level of the beach. Perhaps the shadow of the building just a little bit too pinkish or reddish. Maybe if we had gone in with a little bit more blue, I think in that in those um, shadows that would look a little bit better. Boats are very good. I particularly like that boat there, John. That's very nice. And good reflections as well. Brilliant. Well done. And I like the colour that you've got into those rocks also in the bottom right hand corner. Nice one, John. And Joy. Good composition. The background hills, the, the sky background hills, very nice. Good sense of light hitting the scene. Uh, a figure in great proportion to everything else. These boats, very well painted. Um, dark shadows below the boats. Perhaps it could have been a bit of a, a bit more of a transition between the boats, just so that we don't get that sort of hard edge there. Um, the reflections could be maybe just a tiny bit darker. Uh, yeah, just just a little bit darker. I think that would work a bit better. But there. They're very well painted though, not overworked, and a feeling of movement in the in the water. Yep, well done, Joy. Judy. I uh, I like the the sky, those hills with that blue. I think I was encouraging everyone on the on the event to use blue. Um, down there in the uh, that little sort of corner of the river. But that blue there, that works really well against the this um, the foliage on the right hand side. Yeah, very nice. Um, building's good, good pers perspective. And also the way that you've left a little bit of highlight on the left hand side, that's very effective. Those few little 45 degree angles there. Nice and loose. Uh, Good foreground rocks as well. Yep, excellent. Well done, Judy. And Jeet. So, now with the perspective here, it looks like we wanted to get the feeling of looking uphill. Maybe you've got more of a feeling of being slightly flatter. And um, I'm not sure maybe what might be going on here, Jit, in the in the far corner of the river. Uh, so maybe with your technique, maybe if you just added a bit more water to the brush so that we don't have too many sort of dry brush marks. Watch the figure as well. Just make that figure a little bit longer. Uh, boats are very well drawn and painted. Nice reflections, good reflections of the sky and the river as well. Yeah, so just, just um, I'm a little bit lost with where the horizon might be. And yeah, that, that corner of the river there. But everything else, Jit, well done. And just make your figures a bit longer. Kada, Kada, I hope we pronounced your name okay. I like, I like that purple um, in the, uh, the buildings. Yeah, good, good, good uh, palette. Nice colours, um, the green of the far banks just right, good boats also. Uh, I like the figure there, very well done. Um, just a few windows just right, not overdone it on the windows. Yeah, very nice, beautiful. Good sky as well. Yeah, well done. Thanks, Kada. Uh, K. 
well, I'm, my eyes are immediately drawn to these figures. These, these, those figures are brilliant. Perhaps the boats could be a little bit bigger in relation to the figures, but they, your figures are fantastic, Kay. Uh, nice feeling of softness of the shadows with a little bit of lifting out that you've done, that we demonstrated on the day. Uh, good value of those hills. You've also got a feeling of um, different rows or little valleys forming as we go into the distance, the way that you've almost got three ridges there on well, almost four. Uh, that's very effective. Yeah, well done, Kay. Um, but brilliant figures, well done. Uh, Kazim, nice composition. Great um, placement of those figures overlooking the boat. Uh, these two boats here together, and they're, they're sort of connected as well. Uh, I like the the uh, colour and the, the values that you've got on those the, the buildings. Great sky as well. The fact that you've dropped in a little bit of blue there, and we've got a sort of high wispy clouds, lighter values, just the just the right kind of value for the background hills and the buildings. Um, yeah, this is very nice indeed. Well done, Kazim. Thank you very much. Alani. Very loose. A sense maybe, Lani, have you got a brush with a good point? Try and get a brush with a, a nice edge or a good point to it. See how that will um, make some of these brush marks a little bit... Uh, more bolder, um, more bold, uh, but good composition. Nice golden green of the of the uh, foliage on the right hand side. Um, good value of the reflections. Nice reflections. Yep, very nice indeed. Well done, Lanny. Lefteris. Now I think with the. Yes, we've got a feeling of a very straight line here, that shoreline. Maybe if we had more of a curve to the scene, that would work a little bit better. It looks more like a sort of canal in a way. Um, but everything else is, let me get rid of that point, everything else is fantastic. I like the, the sky, background hills, good handling of perspective, bit of lifting out there in the middle. Good boats also, like that middle boat. Reflections just right. And good good detail on those rocks. Those rocks are superb in the bottom right-hand corner. Yeah, well done, Left Harris. And Leslie. <laughs> I like these two figures there. Talking to each other. Uh, that that boat also is very good. Um, that, that bow is actually probably very authentic, and that one as well, very authentic to the to the region. Uh, the drawing of the buildings, very good. Perspective, good range of values. Perhaps um, maybe the window is just a little bit too dark and too many of those windows, but everything else is fantastic. The, the detail of the rocks on the far shoreline, these reflections... Yeah, well done. Liz, Liz B. Very loose uh, on this one. I, I do like it. Uh, especially for me, the highlights of your painting are those reflections, particularly this whole area here. That the way that you've done that boat. Uh, the fact that we don't have a continuous line down the far side of the boat and you've just got a sort of bit of lost and found going on. And it's all very loose. Um, and then these reflections, fantastic. Uh, I could just look at that the whole time. Um, the top half, though, is equally good. Um, but those reflections are, are, are real. Uh, they're, they're, they're cracking. Um, nice sky, good sense of light. Yeah, brilliant reflections, Liz. Liz B. Uh, Lydia. Great perspective. 
very precisely drawn, uh, nice curve of the river, maybe just a little bit too perfect a curve, but it's, we've got a nice curve going on in a sense of the perspective as well. Uh, oh, just spotted a figure, a fisherman down there. What a good idea to have something on the right hand side. I think um, the way I, I did it, my boulders were, well, it was quite close to the where the, the, the viewer would have been. So maybe uh, with for me, if I'd have put a fisherman in, it would have been a bit too big. But you've you've got the feeling that we're looking, we're a bit higher up here and looking down the scene and you've sneaked in that fisherman. Uh, very good idea. Uh, good sky. Uh, just watch with the overworking there on the right hand side. Um, just, yeah, maybe just... Uh, not apply so many layers or too thick a paint, Lydia, but excellent composition, good range of colours and great composition. And that that fisherman with the pole just leads our eye into the uh, composition. Yeah, well done. And Macarand. So I've, I've noticed this this little sort of light line here at the shoreline, it sort of takes me up on a journey around. The background hills, just right. Uh, those buildings, superb as well, with a, with, with a little bits of light. We almost feel like the light's coming around from a sort of the top right-hand corner rather than coming towards us. Maybe with these boats, just get in a little bit of structure to the middle, um, perhaps some ropes or whatever. But very nice. I, yeah, I do like your shoreline. The shoreline's good and those reflections are brilliant. Well done, Macarand. Maria H. Yeah, we've got a, a good feeling of perspective. Uh, the now the tops of the buildings, I'm not sure if on this one, for example, there was that sort of flat top. Um, so <laughs> forgive me if, if, uh, if I'm incorrect there. But yeah, just, just watch the symmetry of some of these buildings. Um, and maybe just trying to get a little bit of a, a sharper edge or a, a bit more of a point on some of them. Um, but everything else, those, those Two cottages there, very well painted and drawn. Um, nice bit of light at the bend in the river. Uh, boats well painted. Maybe just watch with the brightness of that red. Maybe it's just a little bit too bright. Dull it down a bit. But good reflections though, Maria. Uh, they're just right. And a nice bit of granulation in those hills. Great sky as well, fantastic sky. Well done, Maria. And Marta. Now these buildings, they need to be joined a little bit more. So think about connecting them. Uh, we've got sort of three groups of buildings here. We need to try and connect them in some way uh, by putting in maybe a bit more of a, a stronger background. I, I like the sky, very sort of atmospheric. Uh, boats, they need a little bit of structure to them, as, as I mentioned before with other attendee paintings. Just, just get in a few planks in the middle. Watch the bit of light air around these objects as well. Watch also the overworking of the reflections. Go with a bigger brush. I would say use a bigger brush and think about strokes going that way rather than rather than that way, just so that we're mimicking little ripples in the water, all right? Uh, but I do like that sky. Well done, Marta. And Mary. Nice and loose. No overworking at all. Uh, I would watch just slightly overdone it with the little light areas maybe in some of the shadow uh, 
shadowy parts of the picture. But those that boat is superbly painted. Very good. Um, good perspective. Values are just right. Uh, that the background hill, the, the furthest background hill, nice sky as well. Good foliage on the right hand side. Yeah, very good. Well done. Yeah, just my point about maybe some of these lighter marks in the in the shadows there. Um, well done, Mary. And Patricia. Very bright scene. Almost uh, with the, the way that you've done the right hand side, it almost looks like a sort of forest, like a sort of pine trees or fir trees or something. Uh, now watch those buildings with the size of that figure. Those buildings look like they could be a little bit bigger. Uh, I like the boats. Reflections are very nice. And the way that you've got these little white marks, white horizontal lines, that just gives a nice sort of movement to the river. Uh, very effective. I like that sky as well. Very, uh, very quickly painted, loosely painted, nothing, nothing over work. Yeah, well done, Patricia. Lovely. And Pete. Nice and loose. No overworking here at all. Uh, very economical brush marks. Confident brush marks. I like the way that you've done the right hand side. Good boats, good proportion of that figure. And good reflections as well. Yeah, very nice indeed. Uh, us. Yeah, we can just see a little bit of that pencil line on the far hills, but that doesn't matter. Yep, well done, Pete. And Philip. Ah, oh, so Philip, you've gone for more the, the, the tiles on the rooftops, which actually I sort of shy away from doing um, painting in tiles on rooftops or ridges or lines. Um, but that, that actually works. It's very effective to sort of draw the eye down into the scene. Now, um, whereas most of us were these these buildings, because we're looking contre jour, the buildings would have been a lot darker against the lighter uh, background or the hills. But yours works really well. That light there, it looks like the light's being reflected off something. And, and also the sharp edge. I would have thought that, that sharp edge wouldn't work when it's in the distance, but it does in yours. Uh, it's brilliant. And those figures, very nice. Combination of various boats and craft there. And that whole right-hand side, very loose. Yeah, well done, Philip. Brilliant painting. And yeah, stand out for me. I, I really do like that, um, that end of that building facing us. Very effective. Yeah, well done. Ravi B. Now watch the Ravi, watch the dark lines around the edges of these buildings. Maybe consider um, just blocking in all of these buildings, apart from maybe the rooftops or the bits that are catching light. But you've got very good composition here, great reflections as well. Certainly got a feeling of the rippling of the water. And the water not not overworked at all. Yeah, nice one. Uh, perhaps go a little bit greener with the foliage. That looks a little bit too... like you've, you've got the green there, but maybe did you go over maybe a tiny bit of red on top? I don't know yet. But the main thing is just watch these lines around the objects. It doesn't need them. Uh, Ravi N. Yep, nice. I like that sky. Very nice sky. Uh, good composition, nice boats. Uh, just watch too much of the, um, as with a few others, too many, too much of the paper showing through on, on the buildings on the left-hand side. And I'm not sure this building here, it could do with a, a stronger feeling of the, of the rooftop. But everything else, good range of colors. Nice boats, good figure, good reflections. Well done, Ravi. Ricardo. Wow, we've got a feeling of a bit of mist coming down the river. Uh, I like the, the way that you've just turned those 
those cottages a little bit more um, that they're facing us in a way rather than we're seeing too much to the end that, that's, that's quite effective but good sense of a mist coming down the river I think with that nice reflection as well uh, I like the highlighted shoreline good quality boats I just watch with a slight bit of overworking of the shadows um, there on the left hand side Everything else so fantastic. Well done, Ricardo. And Richard. Yeah, I like the way that you've got... You know, some people shy away from... Or they... they um, don't like the, 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 these blooms or cauliflowers appearing in watercolour. But this is very... Fair. This is just exactly where it could be used with foliage. And uh, you've done that really well. Uh, Richard so well done and the the building on the left hand side bit of lifting off very nicely done the I can see that the buildings have been very well um, drawn I can see a little bit of evidence of the pencil lines good boats figure reflections yeah this is very nice indeed lovely well done Richard Rosemary. Right, so I think and you've gone more for more of a squarish, whereas we were all going portrait or landscape, you've gone for a square, square orientation, which works. Very bold buildings. Um, the boulders as well, very precisely painted. Nice composition. Um, perhaps there could be a few a few little marks on the river. And perhaps the Reflections could be a little bit darker of those buildings, just a tiny bit. But very nice, Rosemary. Thank you very much. Uh, Sadia. Nice. Uh, you've got a, a good composition here. Nice sky, the way that the formation of the clouds, we can just see a slight sort of lines here which are being picked up with the edges of the of the hills uh, perhaps just a little bit too many of these marks in here um, which I might have been encouraging people to do but just yeah just just um, hold off on doing too many of those those the boats though superb good figure and boulders on the foreground shore yeah, really nice. Well done, Sadia. Sally P. I like the granulation. The uh, the the way that you've done those those buildings, very nice. Lots of figures. Uh, just watch with some of the far figures. Their heads being a little bit too large. Um, maybe the figures need to be a little bit bigger in in relation to the size of the boats. Uh, but nice composition, the way that you've got that sort of uh, like almost like a valley forming. Perhaps we could be a little bit lighter up here at the uh, bend of the river, Sally. But nice way that the very nice way that you've done the river itself and and a sense of movement, not overworked. Yeah, but that that color that you've got into those buildings, I like that a lot. Well done. And Sandra, wow, you've got some really bright colours in this one. I like it. This, this could be made into a very bright poster, I think. Uh, uh, nice figure, this lady with the dog coming down the slipway. Maybe with a perspective, it's not 100% right, but it works. It just, it's got, a, it's got a really nice, happy feel about this painting. Uh, I like the reflections as well. But that, that blue is, is gorgeous, fantastic. Well done, Sandra. Sheila. Very calm river. Maybe that river could be maybe just a little bit too calm, if you see what I mean, Sheila. Just uh, maybe have some darker lines, uh, horizontal lines in there. But those reflections are brilliant. 
you've got a very good command here of the reflections in the river. Uh, this would be really good if it was a lake, but we just want to try and get a feeling of movement there. I like the foliage on the right hand side, the way you've done that, little, little dry brush marks, just scooping them up, starting at the base, scooping them up, good figure, the figures in good proportion to everything else. Perspective as well, brilliant, good range of values. Very, very nice. Yeah, just, just by point about maybe try and get a bit more movement on that on that river. Well done, Sheila. Shirley. Now, yes, I think it looks all right. I was just trying to think the um, the the angle that we're viewing it at, but it, it's all right, actually. Uh, I like the buildings. You've got uh, a nice sort of blue building that you've got in the background. I think that's really effective against the, a bit of darkness against the light of that, this middle building. Yeah, that whole area in the middle, fantastic. Good figure. Uh, boats may be not too symmetrical. Um, they're all right, but just uh, practice your boats a little bit. Maybe the the stern of this boat just a little bit too wide. I like the reflections though. Uh, the background hills, very nice. So all the colours that you've got into that, surely yellows, greens, different types of blues. Yeah, very nice. Um, Stand a bit for me. I really like that middle bit. Very, very nice. And Somya. Good range of colours again. Um, nice. This is very loose. Uh, those reflections. I think it was like, um, was it Sadia's before? Or someone before did, did really good reflections. Your reflections are brilliant, Somya. Um, the... The softness that you've got into the, the buildings in the middle, just with the confident brush marks, you've, oh, it's, it's fantastic. Um, this is very, very good. The right hand side as well. Yeah, very nice, Somya. You did really well on that one. Um, Son, Sonja. Hopefully I pronounce, I don't know, not sure if it's Sonya or Sonja. Maybe it's Sonya. Uh, Good composition. Now your horizon is actually quite high, which allows us to exploit the foreground and then and make more of a feature of the river. That works really well. Uh, not sure if the shape of the reflections here are strictly speaking correct, but maybe it gives a sense of movement in the river. Perhaps if we had a few horizontal lines that I mentioned to Sheila, um, that might work a bit better. Uh, the value of the hills are almost the same as the river. So try and make, I would say, make the background hills a little bit darker and the river lighter. Um, and watch with the boats being too far over on the left. This boat here, maybe if it was back here, that would work better. I like the, the foreground, uh, sorry, the, the uh, far shore there. And the shadow that you've got across the shoreline, very nice indeed. Uh, Suan. Yeah, we, it looks like there's a few rapids coming down the river. Uh, get just right. Uh, good sense of movement in the river. And with these, these little white marks that you've got, I like the boats as well. Um, figures always a fisherman. Ah, uh, we've got a bit of a fishing competition going on here, and I can see the the ripples in the in the water as well. Uh, maybe that fisherman with the pole. Maybe, maybe the pole would be a, the 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 grasp of the pole looks a little bit unnatural. But well done for getting in a fisherman. I like the little um, the sort of horizontal um, highlights that you've got. In the on the wall there, very nice indeed, and the um, a delicate use of white paint for these for these um, lines going up these between these poles. 
Yeah, and very bold with the rocks in the bottom right corner. Yeah, well done, Sue Ann. Nice one. And Sue. Uh, so yeah, it, it, you've, you've taken a slightly different approach here in that we can't really see that there is a wall on the left hand side, which doesn't matter. Certainly we've got the feeling of the buildings coming down onto the shoreline. Uh, with the perspective, maybe it looks like we're looking down on the scene here um, rather than sort of on a level on a level with it but it's very nice i, I like the, the the greens that you've got sue on the right hand side very natural looking um yeah brilliant so good good colors i like the re reflections even though they're a little bit too soft but it's, it's got a nice sort of feeling about this very sort of contemporary yeah well done Thank you very much, Sue. And Susan, oh, now you've gone for more of a sort of pen and wash or um, pen and ink uh, type style, which works uh, very much like a sort of sketch type painting. Um, nice composition. I like the, the light that you've got. This is very effective, Susan, the, that, that lighter area there, it's like the it's like the light has just suddenly found something to to shine up. Perhaps the rooftops here could be a little bit lighter, um, but we've got a nice bit of light on those there. Good range of colours, nice reflections as well. Yeah, very nice. Well done. And Sylvia. So your horizon is quite high uh, very dramatic boulders so a lot of the because of the high horizon we've got and your river is sort of the, the bend of the river is in the middle it means we've got a lot of space on the right hand side here which you've actually used very well um, nice foliage nice formation of these rocks here also um, not sure about the roof shape on that building there, but all the other buildings just right. Sense of light, nice boats, good reflections. Yeah, good, good, um, good idea with the right hand side, making it more of a play of that one, Sylvia. Well done. Uh, Tanya. So it's quite a soft one, this one. Great sense of light, even though we haven't got many sort of really dark colours in this, but you've, you've managed to get um, a sense of light hitting these rooftops. Very effective. And little, the attention to detail, that little bit of highlighted rooftop there. I like that. Um, little sort of just a few horizontal highlights giving you know the, the actual wall I think went a little bit like that but you've you've actually managed to sneak in a few more sort of horizontals they could be little little rooftops or something like that boats brilliant figure maybe that figure's head just a little bit too big uh, just the right values for the background hills there and also the effect that you've got on those those Back, background hills um, very very nice yeah nice nice handling of watercolor different watercolor techniques few blooms and cauliflowers appearing wet in wet very nice reflections yeah excellent well done Tanya nice one um, Ting right so you've done away with the right at the bottom right hand corner so it's left to the viewer to, to work out what's down there on the right. This works. Uh, you've, we're, now, we're now sort of right on top of that shoreline. 
so we can play more with with uh, that and those figures the nice bit of highlight going around those figures the boats those boats are exceptional very very good boats and nothing overworked good green good, good natural greens there the reds of the buildings yep yeah, excellent ting well done uh, tom so this is quite loose i like the sky got a feeling of the certainly got a, a feeling of the north yorkshire moors here creeping on the right hand side definitely feel there's a bit of bit of moorland uh, and hillside going up there and, and that that streak of mistiness going up there as well that's that's very nice uh good perspective sense of light hitting these buildings uh maybe the reflection is just a little bit overworked uh just a tiny bit but i, I like everything else the nice colors the this yellowish greenish foliage here um nice contrast with the blue in the distance and the softness of the the margins of the the river the the bend in the river yeah, very nice, Tom. Thank you. And Tony. Great sort of um, these strong verticals. That's the first thing I've noticed. Very sort of, it's got a sort of like a panoramic view to this um, picture. I like that boat. That's a fantastic boat. That's one of the best boats I've seen. Really nice. Well done, Tony. And these rocks also. Uh, very uh uh, very realistic looking, and you certainly, you certainly can touch the the, the form of those. Um, perhaps the reflections are a little bit overworked, and I would favour more sort of horizontal lines with the with the reflection, like like you did in the on the uh, at the edge, um, the, the the margins here. That's that's more the, the sort of type of brush mark I would uh, I would go for. But really nice scene, lovely sky. Um, and, and good form that you've got that foliage and those rocks. Well done, Tony. And vibe. Right, so I think those those windows are maybe just a little bit too bright. Um, now watch with your initial drawing, getting the perspective right. Uh, we've got... Um, those buildings at a sort of slight, sort of funny angle, and it's a bit difficult to see where these buildings that should be in the background look as if they're in the foreground. So, so try and get the the drawing right before going on to the painting. But I like the range of colours you've got. Very moody, very atmospheric. The boats as well, good placement of boats and the figure there as well. Um, and the reflections are. Yeah, they're all right. They could be a little bit darker, but you've got you've got a sense of movement in the river, a nice a nice um, touch with the dry brush marks as well. Those that uh, these darker gray uh, gray mixes, and then the the edge that you've got on that foliage, that's very very nice indeed. And also the effect of light against dark, and dark against light. Yeah, well done. Thanks, vibe. So on to the next workshop, which uh, is going to be something totally different. This is Green Street in Bath, UK, uh, a very popular tourist de destination, lovely city. And I don't know what the opposite of contrajour is, but the lights behind us and it's throwing some interesting shadows across the, the, uh, the street here. But we've got this some interesting architecture to deal with. How would you paint that tall, thin steeple there? Um, and the value of that steeple is very similar to the value of the background sky. Nice bit of light hitting the end of that building. We're gonna include some figures. There's a car there I can see, just a little bit of the, uh, the, the structure being highlighted. And then these, windows with a bit of light hitting 
the far side dark shadow in the top of the window. That's quite a nice sort of repeating pattern going up the right hand side. Old antique light there, bit of bunting going across the street. Nice idea to try and connect the two sides. And perspective, a good, good, um, a good exercise in perspective here with the bottom of the street and the top of these buildings. Anyway, so I hope you'll join me. Um, let's just have a look at a practice sketch I did some time ago. Um, so just trying to get in the main elements of the scene and that, those, those shadows, the light, the strong light coming from behind us, the steeple as well. But we want to try and push that back. We want to try and make the value just right so that we can we can see it's a, a church, but we're pushing it back. We don't want it coming too far forwards. And then these light, these these uh, these windows catching the light and a little bit of darkness in the top. And we'll we'll have a play around with different watercolor techniques, a bit of splattering and dry brush marks. You can see here I got a bit too enthusiastic with some of the brush, some of the um, the splattering here. Anyway, I hope you can join me. More information, go up to crowdcast.io slash Tim Wilmot and you'll see all the uh, up and coming events. And also you can take part in previous workshops as well, even though they've happened. Still have a go. Send me a painting for a critique. Uh, hopefully catch up with you soon. Thanks very much indeed. Bye-bye.